Today we're going to discuss troubleshooting a TFT RC monitor motor board. Um, basically what we're going to try and fix here is if uh, your monitor, the, uh, the straight stream and fog works just fine, the vertical axis works just fine, it's just you have no motion from one of the axes, whether it, whether it be up and down or left and right or the nozzle boards. Um, basically inside of our monitors we have three motor boards and they're all identical. Uh, let's first, before we do any kind of work, uh, we have to kill power to the monitor. So we'll go ahead and inside the truck, make sure we kill power. Once you see the green light go off, that means power has been killed. Uh, just keep in mind that some trucks are hardwired, so um, if that is the case, then you have to remove the cables from the battery and actually shut down power completely. Uh, the reason we're doing this is we don't want to fry any boards. Uh, if you try and hot swap some boards, moving boards while it's under power, it will fry the board. So once we have uh, see that the green light's gone, we can go ahead and remove the cover. As you remove the cover, just be careful that you don't yank it off too hard because on the back side of this board there is a, uh, a ribbon cable. The ribbon cable is here, so just make sure that you don't yank on that to dislodge that from our communications board. Um, once you have that, it's easy just to go ahead and zip one screw back in just to kind of hold it in place so you don't have, have to have another person hold it for you. Now what we're going to do is identify which board we're, we're looking at. There are, there's underneath the, uh, the boards, there's, there, each one is labeled. This one is the nozzle board, then we've got the horizontal board, and then we've got the vertical board. The horizontal board is the one that we're having problems with. It won't move side to side, so this is the one that we're, uh, we're after. So either one of these two boards, either the nozzle board or the, the uh, vertical board, can be swapped over to see uh, if, if it's a board issue or if it's a motor issue. So let's go ahead and take the, uh, the vertical board and swap it over into the, the horizontal board position. First, we'll go ahead and pull the communication wire, which is this blue and white connector. And behind that is the, uh, the power cord. And then that board just kind of slips out. Set that off to the side. Do the same process for the horizontal board. Pull communication wire, power wire. Pull it out and then move it over into the vertical slot. Once that's mounted back in there, we'll go ahead and reconnect our power wire. and our communication wire. Then we can leave, uh, go ahead and put this uh, horizontal board back in, which was moved over. Connect power. Connect communications. Make sure everything's firmly mounted in there. And then we'll go ahead and go ahead and regain power to the to the nozzle. Once the green light finish finishes flashing, it boots up. Then we can go ahead and test our test our uh, axes. Let's go ahead and try the horizontal now. It works now, which it didn't before. Now we can try the vertical. It no longer works, so it followed the board. That's the indication that we have a board problem. The board needs to be replaced. So go ahead and kill power again before you work on the, the boards. Wait for the green light to go out. Now, you can contact uh, TFT customer service and receive a new board. Um, these do go out on a dollar amount. Once we get the other board back and diagnose what the problem is, uh, we'll give you credit for that uh, if, if everything's in, in order. So this is the way they come packaged to us in an in a, in a anti-static bag. Go ahead and take that out of the bag. And the, the axis that's not working now, as we were showing earlier, is the vertical axis now, so that's the one we want to replace. So go ahead and pull that communication wire out, power wire out, pull the board out, take the new board, pop it back in its place, connect the wires back in place. Make sure everything's good and tight again. 
Go ahead and re, uh, repower the truck. Wait for the green light to flash. Once it's done flashing, then you can go ahead and test your axes again. Horizontal still works. Vertical now works. And straight stream and fog now works. So we've made the repair successfully. So now what we want to do is go ahead and button everything back up. Go ahead and kill power again to the truck. We'll go ahead and remove that screw that was uh, kind of holding us in place. Make sure that you tuck the uh, ribbon cable behind the, uh, behind the lid. Make sure the gasket is in place. Make sure it's good and square on there. You'll feel it fit into place. And then go ahead and re-tighten re the screws. And try and go in a, in a cross pattern to make sure that it tightens evenly. If you tighten one side and not the other, it'll shift it off to the side and it'll create a leak and fill the, uh, the box with water. Once that's done, you can retest each axis by regaining power. All axes are working properly, job's complete. Go ahead and take the, uh, the board that was having the problem, place it back inside the bag, and re um, contact customer service for an RGA number so we can get that board back and diagnose it and see what the root, root cause of the problem was. If the ribbon cable does pop out of the communication board, it's very easy to get back inside. Uh, just look for the, uh, the contact side. There's two sides of the ribbon cable. There's one side that has the contact, and the other side has a protective plastic coating. So make sure that the, the side that has the contacts are facing this side of the board that has the contacts that made up on the communication board. Just uh, slide that in, push the plastic piece down, and then push it down again. That connects the, the ribbon cable to the communications board.